Hi, welcome on IME Info. Today I'll show you how to check your model as well as origin and specifications of your phone using IME number on IME.info website. Let's begin with how to check your IMEI because first you need to know it before you enter it on the website. Your IMEI number is a number that is assigned to your phone and it is unique. In order to learn it, you can find it in three different ways. The first one, my favorite one, is going to the um, phone app. On most phones, it should work. Just go to phone app, then go to keypad. Now dial asterisk pound 06 pound. It'll show you different numbers. You can see there are two IMEI numbers in my case. In your case, there may be one, maybe two, sometimes even four. If you have more than one number, choose either one. It doesn't really matter. Any of those should work properly. But I'll just choose the first one. Uh, now let's uh, go to the second method in settings. Simply go to settings, then go to general. Now go to about and scroll down. This is how you do it on iPhone, of course. On Android phones, it may be a bit different, but you just need to get to about phone section. On Android, it, there's a chance it may be in settings on the top of or the bottom of the main list in settings there will be about phone. And then you'll either find it there, or you ne you'll need to go to a subsection called status, and you'll find your IMEI number. On iPhone, you can see it is right here at the bottom of the about section. Uh, there's IMEI not one and IMEI two. Now let's go for the third method. I have a box. It's not from this iPhone that I have right here. I couldn't find that one, but, mm, if you know that you have an original box from your phone, then you can simply check the IMEI on the back of the phone. You'll see the IMEI 1 and IMEI 2. Sometimes it may be also on the front of the um, box or on the side of the box. Now, also, if you don't have the phone just yet, but just want to learn the IMEI number from the seller, also, you can provide instructions on how to find the IMEI number. Now let's go to the IMEI.info website and check our IMEI number. So I'll just type my IMEI number right here. I think this is this one. I already have it in the recents. And let's go to check IMEI. It'll verify for a moment and after some time, you'll have all the different options that you can choose from. At first, you'll already see some specifications like uh, the device type, of course, uh, when, it, where it, when it was released, as well as your chipset, which is probably gonna be your CPU, SIM card size, and more. What, you can expand the info. Mm, to see GPU type, as well as main camera and selfie camera. Later on, I'll also show you some Android phone examples, but now we're looking at an iPhone. Uh, you can see the display here, that it has a built-in NFC, supports 5G as well as LTE, and has a lithium ion battery with uh, 2815 uh, milliamp hours. The dimensions are also here and you can click on full device specifications. You'll find some basic info that we've already seen. Then you can go to parameters. You can see there's even more data here. Some of those I don't really even understand, like those GSM things. I don't get that. You don't need to either. But mm, things like colors of the display, uh, as well as some Wi-Fi features and stuff like that may get pretty useful. Then let's see even more here. And then I'll also get to others. You can see I don't have any other data, but 
uh, once I go back, I also see some free and paid checks. And uh, for different brands of phones, some checks will be free, some will be paid. On iPhones, you can check the origin of the phone by going to Apple Carrier, Log Status and FMI. This service isn't too expensive and sometimes it's worth it. So you may need to click on it, then make an order. You can see it's just $5. Then enter your email address as well as your payment method, agree and click on pay with Stripe checkout. You'll need to pay for the service, then wait from 10 seconds up to 10 minutes. It's probably just 10 seconds and mm, your report will be generated. I'll show you that when it's done. Okay, so my report was generated. You can see um, there are some other data here, but we are looking at the origin. Uh, once I scroll down a little bit, I'll find purchase country. It is Poland in my case. And now I know that the device was purchased in Poland and uh, that's about it. And let's move on to some other Android phones this time. Now I'll just show you uh, some Android phone uh, origin details because we already know how to check the specification and it's gonna be about the same on all the other phones, but the country may be a bit different. You can see I have a Xiaomi phone right here and uh, this phone actually uh, isn't called like it was called on an iPhone. It was carrier and FMI lock and stuff like that. Here it's Xiaomi warranty and country checking. We can see the purchase country. It's Poland as well. The warranty statues as well. Warranty start date, which also by the way, there's a high chance that the st uh, warranty start date is the uh, registration date of the phone. So wh when it was purchased, basically. Uh, then warranty ed end date as well as well as production date. That's about it for Xiaomi. Let's move on to Techno. Uh, on Techno, um, there is the Techno warranty and country checking as well. If I scroll down a little bit, I'll find different things. And here it is named sales country and it is Bolivia. Uh, so I know that the phone was purchased originally in Bolivia. You can also see some other things here um, as you would on any other phone. Let's go to Oppo. I have an Oppo phone here and it's also named Oppo warranty checking. On Oppo warranty checking I also say, see, can see sales region and it's Thailand. So um, you can see that it may be different for different devices but at some point you will be able to find the origin. But specifications I think are the easiest to find as well as your model. Models are all, always written at the very first once you check for your device. Let's go to Samsung now um, and Samsung, um, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be Polish uh, because I can already see that marketing name being in Polish. Uh, but yeah, it's also warranty and carrier checking this time. And if I scroll down, then yes, it's shipped to country. Poland, but sold by country Austria. I don't really, I can't really explain what it means, but I know that the phone was bought in Poland. So Austria doesn't really like mean where it was bought, but it was shipped to country Poland. So that's what I basically know. And I also know that it was mm, bought at uh, this seller. Uh, the name of the company that sold it. And that will be about it for this video. I hope it was helpful. I hope that you could learn something new and see you in the next ones.